Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. My parents, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, told me to tell the truth all the time. Well, I can tell you that I didn't give the same advice to my children. I will not tell you what I told them, but nevertheless, um, another thing that I've been told was uh, honest people are not afraid of the truth. Dishonest people are afraid of the truth. I have here a few articles and some Wikipedia pages showing the truth. So those people that might not like the truth I'm about to reveal here regarding some individuals uh, close to Navalny, that means are dishonest, uh, okay? They're not good people. So truth should not bother the honest people, only the dishonest people. What do we have here? You know Alexei Navalny, the unfortunate 47-year-old who died uh, in a Russian penitentiary? Okay, you know that guy? They call him the opposition leader. What was the percentage of population that voted for him? I think the best that he could make was about 20-some percent in, as the mayor of Moscow. But he was the opposition leader. I suspected, and I don't have to suspect, I know, that Navalny was not pushed by mostly Russian uh, forces. And I have here something that I knew all along. And I have the names of some people behind, actually very important people in uh, Alexei Navalny's uh, entourage, uh, or how should I put it, supporters. People who worked behind uh, him, actually being the guys somehow involved in Navalny's ascendance. Let me show you. One of these guys was attacked in Lithuania with a hammer. And let me show you the articles. Here is the first article. How do you like it so far? All right, I thought so. So, Associated Press. The top strategist of late Russian opposition leader Navalny is attacked in Lithuania's capital. So this is top strategist of the Russian. And right? here's the guy. He was attacked in Lithuania. Can you guess by whom? Yeah, Putin himself. So we have a name, As associates, plural, of late opposition leader Alexei Navalny said late Tuesday that the politician's close ally and top strategist was attacked near his home in Lithuania's capital. So this guy lives in Lithuania, the Russian, the Russian associate. So we have Kira Yarmish, which I knew previously when I heard that name. She's Russian as I am, Zimbabwean. And I have the evidence to pro prove it to you. Who had been Navalny's spokes spokeswoman. So Kira was Navalny's spokes spokeswoman. Navalny was Russian. Said the assailant smashed the window of Leonid Volkov's car. Leonid Volkov is... Where is he? This is the guy, Leonid, which is this. And he is actually chief of staff, tells us the Telegraph. Navalny's chief of staff beaten with meat tenderized by suspect Putin henchman, plural. They already suspect that. Who blew the Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipelines? You don't know. But you already know they must be suspected Putin henchman. So Leonid Volkov's arm was broken and his leg was hit repeatedly in an attack outside his home in Lithuania. This Russian guy. So we have two names, right? We have Leonid Volkov, who was the chief of staff, you know, like uh, the U.S. chief of staff. You know the U.S. chief of staff? You know his name? Why not? Biden's chief of staff. You know him? <laughs> well, he's Jewish. Don't worry. It's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to show you a lot of coincidence. That's a fact. Are you upset about it? You don't believe me? I'm going to show you. Here he is. Jeff Zinth. He's the guy right here. He's just, you know, his family is Jewish, so he's Jewish. So he's the chief of staff of the American White House. Now let's see who, who this uh, Leonid Volkov, the chief of, chief of staff of possibly, uh, which is gone right now, 
Navalny would have been, should we see? Yeah, Leonid Volkov, the same guy right here, the same guy right here, correct? And we find out that he also is, let me just make it clear, nicer for you. <sighs> Where are you? Let me put my glasses. Right, he is right here. Volko is living in Vilnius, okay? No problem with that. It's everything is just fine. And where is that thing? Right here. So, uh, Navalny's chief of staff would have been, and he is also Jewish. Just a coincidence, just a coincidence, okay? But who is the other person right here? Ira. Well, Kira, the spokeswoman, right? Let's see who Kira is. Right here, Kira, this wonderful woman, right there. So she is a Jewish family, so she's Jewish. So Navalny had a Leonid, chief of staff, Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. She, uh, the spokesperson, uh, she is Kira, um, Jewish. We have, um, where are you? This guy like that and so on so these are the names are you upset you shouldn't be i just named names and i gave you something it's just a coincidence well if it's a coincidence or not i let you draw the conclusions right and uh, it's just a coincidence what can we uh, what uh, conclusions can we draw out of this zelensky is jewish yermak is his chief of staff yermak is jewish Yermak is the chief of staff of Ukraine's president, which is also Jewish. Coincidence? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so again, don't worry about it. I just had the names for these ones. I knew it. And uh, you can draw your own conclusions. Obviously, I allow you to. Just kidding. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.